if you can't do the crime, if you can't do the time, huh? then you... <laughs> Then you can't see the line! <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 bloopers from I'm a Celebrity, Get Me Out of Here. <laughs> Money mix, I'm his form of government. Bless you, don't go away. Doing very well, Lady C. Still happy? Give me a thumbs up if you're happy. Or if you're. Yeah. All these medics rushed past my cage, and was, uh, they sort of opened the back. And I could then see it was a snake. So at that stage, I thought, you know what, I'm a celebrity. Get me out of here right now. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at the moments from the jungle where things went very wrong for the celebrities, or even for Ant and Dec themselves. Let us know your favorite hilarious blunder in the comments below. Number 10, George Takei falls over. The jungle can be a dangerous place, but usually the celebrities don't manage to have any accidents in between the camp and the task. George, however, found that gravity presented its own challenges. That hike uh, into camp, it was exhausting. I thought I was fit. Oh. The 71-year-old gave his campmates a scare when he tumbled down a hill twice falling quite badly the second time. In the Star Trek actor's own words, the only thing that stopped him falling further was a small tree that ended up crashing into his crotch first. I thought I'd give you guys a little bit of a thrill, he joked afterwards, showing the sense of humor that ultimately won him third place. There was a small tree that uh, I got caught in my crotch and that's what stopped me. Number 9, Gemma Collins walks out. Gemma Collins is usually found on the streets of Essex rather than the jungles of Australia. And in 2014, she quickly realized that life in the wilderness didn't suit her. I'm not turning here. No way. Okay. Gemma had a panic attack before reaching camp in the helicopter ride over and immediately protested the lack of food. People who murder get treated better than this, she claimed at one point, pointing out that even convicted murderers got fed three times a day. Waking up crying and feeling panicked every day. So, do you know what, I love, do you know what? I love myself too much to put myself through this. After only 72 hours, the TOWIE star decided she'd been through enough. She also claimed to have malaria, although her diagnosis turned out to be false. At least Gemma made an impression. I believe this is the start of me now, and nothing's gonna change it. Number eight, Christopher Biggins wakes up with a rat. Christopher Biggins was a welcome addition to the seventh series of I'm a Celeb, and always left both his castmates and the viewers laughing. One particularly memorable moment was the Night of Terror, where Biggins was woken up by a rat crawling over him. <laughs> <laughs> The nation watched in anticipation as Biggins mistook the rat for a water bottle and cuddled up to it for a few minutes, before realizing what it was with an ear-shattering reaction. Ah! Oh, God! oh my God, it was on me! It was on me, he screamed. Biggins emerged from the long sleepless nights with a cooked breakfast for the whole camp, making him a lovable hero, so at least it was worth it. You sure it's gone? Yeah. It went off then. Number seven, Sean Ryder bitten by a snake. During his time in the band The Happy Mondays, Sean Ryder probably had a lot of misadventures, but he'd never wrestled with a snake before. During an immunity task in the 10th series, where he had to stick his hand through a hole, Sean was badly bitten by the snake on the other side. Oh, you dirty b the musician held it together incredibly well, swearing at the snake, but continuing the task. The other celebs were alarmed when they saw medics run past them to get to Sean, and Dom Jolly said he would have called I'm a Celebrity to get out of there. In the end, it took two people to get the snake off him, proving once and for all that Sean's tough reputation was never an act. Like sticking your hand through a sheet of glass, and he wouldn't let go, it took two of them to get the thing off. Number 6, Lady C flashes Anton Deck. Lady C was an eccentric character at the best of times on series 15. Even though she refused pedestrian tasks like doing the washing up, she was up for a challenge where her head was locked in a box filled with insects. 
doing very well, Lady C. Still happy? Give me a thumbs up if you're happy. Or if you're... Yeah. After the task, the camp aristocrat was still covered in tiny green ants, and in her hurry to get them off, with the help of Medic Bob, Lady C accidentally flashed ants and deck. The presenters both looked taken aback, mouthing at each other and averting their eyes. Did you see? Yeah, so did I. She managed to win four meals for the camp, however, so maybe her accidental peep show was worth it. Number five, Deck can't get through his lines. Ant and Deck have been well-oiled presenting machines for a decade now, but even the most experienced double act has difficulties sometimes. Which is a series of flooded <laughs> While trying to introduce a ladder-based task, Deck stuttered, giggled, and slipped into a different accent. The complicated task, which involved a series of flooded chambers and tunnels, was just too much for the Geordie presenter to explain. Which is made up of a series of flooded chambers. <laughs> He's doing a different accent now! I'm sick of this ladder, he said after messing up again, and Ant jokingly threatened to put him down the ladder if he didn't do it correctly. This is the panic button. <laughs> Shall I do it? <laughs> got it, no, I've got it, this is it. At the very least, they make each other laugh, even if they don't always get their lines right. Number four, Gillian McKeith faints. No list of I'm a Celeb bloopers would be complete without Gillian McKeith's infamous faint. The celebrity nutritionist created one of the show's most iconic moments when she collapsed after being called for a task in series 10. Don't worry, we'll explain exactly what's going on, okay? Oh, 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 oh. Let's get Bob in. It was the seventh time in a row McKeith had been nominated for a task by the British public, since her phobias and fainting fits were so entertaining. The nutritionist passed out on three separate occasions. There was doubt about how real her antics were, however, and this particular incident strained belief. I think it's best if we go to a break right yes. now uh, and give Gillian the attention she, she needs. We'll find out if she can do it after the break. Fellow campmate Alison Hammond revealed after the series that it was hard not to giggle at the time, and I'm a Celeb fans seem to agree. Number three, Ant's live surprise. Oh, oh hello! Did you see that? Right? Where there's blame, there's a claim! <laughs> You're getting sued! Nobody's perfect, and moments like this go to show that no matter how many national television awards they win, Ant and Deck are still human beings with immune systems. In series eight, Ant interrupted Deck's line about talking to Brian after the break with this, sending Deck into a fit of laughter. After the break, we'll be talking to Brian about his <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> Carry on. We'll be talking to Brian about his role as camp mediator. With his gift for improvisation, Ant recovered by repeatedly asking for a hanky. Oh my god, I need a hanky. Bless you, I'm go away. <laughs> Number two, Steve Davis falls off a log. Snooker star Steve Davis provided us with many hilarious moments while he was in the jungle. But it's safe to say he won the nation's hearts when he fell off a log before a task had even started. Well, you get my swimming arms ready. <laughs> <laughs> While jogging on the spot to warm up and get ready, Steve slipped and fell into the water, sending Ant and Deck into hysterics. I should have brought... warmed up on dry land. <laughs> oh, now I'm all hot. I'm mean, now all. And that's the widest bit. Sadly, he only took three stars back to the camp after that particular trial, but nobody could hold it against him. At least not until he dried off. Ten seconds left. Do you want to try and get the last one? Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> Number one, Anton Deck's prompt joke goes wrong. Every fan of I'm a Celebrity knows they can rely on Anton Deck for a laugh, whether that's because the boys deliver a planned joke well or they have to recover from a mistake live on air. The penultimate episode of the series and the much-anticipated Celebrity Cyclone task is always exciting, but it took a particularly hilarious turn in series 19 after a prop joke went wrong. Oh, come on, guys. You can do better than that. Come on, come we can do better on, than come that. Come on, come on. Give me that. Let's have it. <laughs> <laughs> and continued with the script while Deck struggled to be heard, proving that even in the jungle, the show must go on. Happy Cyclone Day, everybody! Hooray! <laughs> Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.